Thanks for watching Bruins 360. I'm Emily Lewandowski. For the Lady Bruins soccer team, the season ended with a national championship. Coach of the team Chris Carmichael is in the studio to talk with Johnny Gamut about all things soccer and a special event coming up. Johnny? Thanks a lot, Emily. I'm joined by the national champion and coach of the year, Coach Chris Carmichael. Thanks so much for taking the time to join us. Let's talk about the, the historic last season. Uh, really, I mean, it's been a couple of months now. Have you still come down from the, from the championship <laughs> high? <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, it, the, uh, I, I don't think the reality ever hits us all at this point, but uh, we definitely uh, um, know that there, there was a huge achievement with the whole process. So, yeah, we're definitely uh, still excited. Just kind of take me through the season. I, I know we had a lot of chance, especially when we were at the championship yeah. tournament, to talk. Uh, just take me through the season of kind of the ups and downs and, and what it went through to, to get to that yeah. national championship. Um, I mean, it was, it was, it was uh, you know, we didn't have a great start. We had a, um, we had, a, I thought, a pretty strong preseason, but uh, we, we, we got off to a slow start and, and lost some games right off the, right off the gate. And then, uh, um, and then as we start, slowly started getting some things together, tactically switched a few things around and, and just started playing well. And then uh, um, uh, we weren't, I would say we were, we were, we weren't playing at the top of our game, but we were, we were, we were winning and starting to get the goals we needed. Um, but we didn't have it all put together yet, and uh, we came to our uh, last home game against Bluefield College, and uh, it was just an absolute disaster. <laughs> <laughs> and so we uh, uh, tried to uh, have a little uh, motivational training session the next day, and it was really just designed to uh, to, to let the girls know that uh, when you play, you got to give everything you got. And it wasn't meant to be a punishment, but it was really just to let them know that um, this is how you need to feel after every game. And I think it worked, and that, that we definitely got... Uh, uh, the girls uh, encouraging each other, and th the motivation just went sky high, and then from there we finished strong. So, what, what was going through your mind, you know, as Rebecca Luttrell scores the goal in the second half of, of the game? You know, at what point are you starting to think we may win this game? <laughs> uh, I think there's about 15 seconds left in the yeah. game. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, we knew I, I knew going to that game it was going to be a scrappy game. It wasn't going to be real clean necessarily, but it was going to be a scrappy game, and that the uh, I, you know, I, I pretty well knew that the first team to score was going to probably win the game. Uh, when Becca notched it, it was an unbelievable feeling. But uh, we had about 22 minutes, 20 minutes left in the game, and uh, we um, quickly. I, I knew trying to get another notch, another goal was you know could happen, but we decided to go with a, a more of a defensive uh, system of play and uh, uh, put Becca back. Uh, she's a, she's she's now a, a fantastic uh, attacker, obviously a great striker, but. Uh, She's a great defender, so we, we, we switched uh, to a couple, uh, to two holding mids, and, and uh, they, they, they finished the game strong. So Now that you've started the spring season, girls are starting to get back into the, the system of play and that kind of thing, and back into training. What are some of the things that, even in these first couple of practices, that you've started, you know, using to, to motivate them for next season. Um, I mean, right, right, right now it's really too. <laughs> it's almost almost too early for that. We're just right now trying to get our touches back on, so we're um, just uh, getting back to a lot of technical training right now and just try to get some fitness levels back up. Um, but uh, certainly, um, you know, we we do. I think collectively we know inside that uh, we we, we want to come back and we want to get into the national championship and we want to come back and win it again. So, talk to me about that goal, that mission, how what it's going to take to get to get back to back yeah. to repeat. I, I think right now, I think the big thing is uh, maintaining the team chemistry we've had and uh, uh, making sure this, this game stays fresh and exciting to the girls. And uh, um, it's, it's certainly it's natural for any team to go through a period of time in the season where it just becomes a very long season. And sometimes it's just a matter of stepping back, maybe taking some days off and, and just trying to regroup. But uh, um, for now, we just know that uh, we know the hard work it took to get to the uh, national championship. Uh, this past year, we'd like to do it the old-fashioned way and just win the regionals instead of getting the at-large bid, um, which we greatly appreciated uh, from from the committee. So, but uh, uh, we need to uh, make sure that uh, we come out hard, hard st strong next year. We've got a lot. We have a lot more home games. We did not do very well at home, and so we know that that's a goal of ours is to come out and have a much better uh, uh, home home performance uh, next year. All right. Well, before we get to next season, we're going to concentrate on last season this Friday night when the girls are going to raise their championship banner, the first one in school history, so you're not going to want to miss that game against Piedmont International University after the guys' basketball game. Emily, back to you. Thanks, Johnny. Follow the Bruins for the rest of the season at BJUBruins.com. You can also follow us on Twitter or like us on Facebook to keep up to date with the latest Bruins news. Thanks again for watching Bruins 360.